Σα ευχαριστώ. Το λόγο έχει για 1,5 λεπτό η κυρία Γκέρλινγκ. Thank you, Mr. President. Over the last week or so, what with International Women's Day and our rather odious comments from a rather odious colleague, the issue of gender equality has been very prominent. On the one hand, this is incredibly encouraging, as it demonstrates the broad recognition that inequality is unacceptable in this day and age. But on the other hand, it's also a little bit sad, as despite the overwhelming consensus that there is absolutely no reason why women should be treated differently or be more restricted in their life choices than men, women are still battling to put an end to unjustifiable forms of gender discrimination. This I find quite exasperating. Of course, putting an end to gender inequality is not easy. It's a sad truth that such inequality is so deeply embedded in our society that it has become a form of socialization that many are simply unaware of. Choices made in education and decisions taken with regard to work-life balance are all to an extent influenced by some form of gender stereotyping, which can lock women into situations or careers where they are at an unfair disadvantage to men. From society, women and girls need positive roles role models to help them see beyond such entrenched stereotypes. From member state governments, they need a level playing field that allows them the chance to pursue careers and shine based on merit alone. The increased willingness and growing urgency for action opens the door for change. However, unless this willingness translates into meaningful action, there is absolutely no guarantee that gender inequality will be fully resolved. It is member state governments that will make this happen most quickly and most appropriately. It is therefore vital that we as policymakers use this momentum to pin gender equality at the top of all our government's to-do lists. Σας ευχαριστώ. Το λόγο έχει για τρία λεπτά η κυρία Μπλίναρ. Vielen Dank, Herr Präsident, Frau Kommissarin. Ich freue mich sehr, dass wir heute diese gemeinsame Aussprache zur Gleichstellung von Mann und Frau führen. Der Internationale Frauentag wurde bekanntlich erst letzte Woche am 8. März gefeiert. Und es ist deshalb umso wichtiger, dieses Thema auch weiterhin auf der Tagesordnung zu behalten.